knowing that someone's been on a Fulbright year and they've taught abroad um, lets you know that they are ready for anything, ready for any challenge. I'm, ex I'm just excited to get in there and, and, um, and help students get engaged in language learning and in learning about my culture, I guess. I, um, I found in my current teaching, which is um, more of an individual setting, that I am I'm not afraid to be silly to make a point and to make learning fun. And I know that I'm gonna bring that into my classroom. I'm gonna bring that into any classroom that I go into for the rest of my life. You know, I initially came to Lawrence knowing that Dean Pirtle had, um, was a Watson Fellow and that he had done this amazing trip. Um, and my passion is Celtic and Scandinavian traditional music and the instruments and the, the connections with the folklore um, and the, the sort of the, the magical feeling of it when you're in this session and people are just all jamming together and playing. Um, and so mine will take me to Ireland, Scotland, Sweden, Finland, Norway. Um, and I'll be learning instruments, building instruments, learning songs, um, and learning folk stories. It's kind of an adventure. Um, and at the same time, it, it's something, it's a, a growing experience that I think I'm going to grow a lot. And, um, and I'm excited to see what I come back as and, and how it changes me. Well, in my time here at Lawrence, I've been able to be a English and German double major and a theater arts minor. So I think bringing that sort of interdisciplinary sense to the application was really, really helpful. I also didn't speak German before I came to Lawrence, so obviously the German department has been wonderful. I've had a great background reading and learning about things here in Lawrence, but now I'm going to be in a big city, so I get to see the sorts of theater that I've been reading about. I get to hear poetry readings. I get to hear all sorts of different languages, English, German, Turkish, all sorts of different languages on the streets of Berlin. So it's sort of a practicum, I guess, of what I've learned here at Lawrence. I um, got involved in a project of interviewing a variety of women who held political positions. In my proposal, I was conscious of the fact that there was something to be learned from the women I would be interviewing, that that was sort of extraordinary what they're doing. I had to find uh, appropriate translators and uh, transcribers. And I'll be look, um, working through professors at a university, Pune University, and I've been in contact with them and they sound really helpful. And um, there'll be a lot more to, I think, get a grasp on. And I'm excited for that challenge. Well, I knew coming into Lawrence that I wanted to study ecology and I knew right away that I wanted to double major in biology and environmental studies. But I didn't know how much there was really to learn about all of those subjects until I came to Lawrence and took several ecology classes. So I was interested in this award because I want to have some recognition for what I've done as well as uh, attend the orientation in Tucson, which is going to be in early August. I'll get, have the opportunity to meet all the other scholars, other 49 students, whose backgrounds vary considerably. I mean, you can have students in fashion design who are interested in sustainable uh, clothing production all the way to journalists there. So having that uh, background of connections will be really important. It was a really exciting moment, I think, not just for me, but also for everybody who helped me get through that application process and get me to where I am. For the last four years now at Lawrence, I've been taking education classes in addition to the other classes related to my major. Um, but now I actually have the chance to kind of put those into action. And being in a country like Taiwan, their culture is a lot different from ours. And while there is sort of a universal among kids, they definitely haven't been raised the way that I was. So I've sort of learned to understand that every culture kind of exists in its own, its own place, in its own time, in its own history, and you can't really compare it up against, you know, your own cultural experiences or your own history.
And in the true Lawrence spirit of, you know, combining disciplines together, um, Austria's Fulbright program is kind of unique to the country where um, they're the only country that I've heard of at least that offers a combination English teaching assistantship and research fellowship. So um, when I applied for the grant, I had to really emphasize how I was going to be able to um, function in both arenas and how both of them were going to connect to each other. Being able to first go and be in a space with students and people who are all learning from each other in a space where the whole point is to have this dialogue about each other's language and about each other's culture. And then to go into a space where you're directly experiencing a part of that culture through playing it and through making music together. So this combined grant is a really good opportunity for me, I think, to bring those two passions together.